I think it's demeaning to her by just calling her a bartender. You you know? It's demeaning to talk about someone's work history? <laughs> no, but the way you said it made it sound like that's Okay, I used to bartend less. and waitress, okay. so what's your question? Okay. <laughs> Um, What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back going to new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Cook ruins arrogant smoke socialist students. Okay, let's give this a try. I just think it's pretty disgusting that you referred to AOC as the bartender because that job is just as important as manipulating money on the stock market. Is it factually so. inaccurate? What? <laughs> is it factually inaccurate that she was a bartender? No, no, that's, that's why accurate. is it disgusting? I, what? So why is it disgusting? You can call the I president think, a billionaire real estate developer. I don't care. Yeah. I think it's demeaning to her by just calling her a bartender. You know? It's demeaning to talk about someone's work history? <laughs> no, but the way you said it made it sound like that's Okay, I used to bartend less. and waitress, okay. so what's your question? Okay. <laughs> um, never mind. But also I was wondering, Candice, why you didn't debate Kyle Kalinske from Secular Talk. What he says is that he was in... Um, coordination with the people at Politicon, and they actually said that you weren't ready for debates. Okay, so this is one of the weirdest internet rumors I've ever heard about myself. I didn't attend Politicon. I didn't attend Politicon because I was in my sister's wedding. So I, I don't know why someone thought I was debating someone in California when I had a wedding in Connecticut, uh, but I, I never, it's just an internet myth. Will you do it next year? I don't really, is he, who's, who's Kyle Kalinske? Yeah, it's kind of like punching down for Candace, to be honest, so. I'd like to debate I, AOC. I respectfully disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a Democrat candidate. I'm not, I'm not, we're not, I mean. I, mean, I, I talked to Kylie, and I talked to him on stage. We debated, it was fine, it was fun. It's just kind of like Candace says, trolling yeah. a little bit. So there's, right. Also, Mike Gravel, 2020. <laughs> thank you for your question. This is awkward in some way. The student's kind of like messed with himself. Even the lady holding the mic for him was actually laughing. <laughs> because um, there's no shame in, in what to do. If you're a band tender before, say it out. You're a bartender. It's, it's, it's a job. A bartendering job keeps on going every day. Like, never stop. So because you did it, uh, someone mentioned it, that you're a bartender. You should not be ashamed of what you did. It's, it's hustle. It's, it's a work. Something you did to earn an, earn an honest living. So there's no shame in doing that. If you're a waitress, you mentioned it, there is no shame in being a waitress. It's, it's, it's a job you did to earn an honest living. So there's no shame in mentioning your occupation, what you did for a living. Um, there's no shame in that. I don't know why he felt kind of like bad or awkward that um, they mentioned a lady that did a bartending job. Um, Candace always was like, I also did a bartending job. There is no shame in saying that. There is absolutely no shame in saying that. It's something you experienced, something you did before, and you you have grown up to do something much better. If you're a billionaire today that you own a massive company, you said you're a, you're a owner of this company. There's no shame in doing that. You, you, this is what you do to earn an honest living. This is what you do. There's no shame in doing that. So, I don't know what his point of view is. He's just trying to... He's, should I use the word... He, he was unprepared. He was unprepared. So he was actually a smog in some certain way. And he was unprepared. And that itself kind of backfired against him. And you can't be unprepared and come debate with Charlie Kirk and Candace Owens. You will get ruined. So the student said was actually unprepared. And he made the conversation kind of like awkward. So comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel, guys. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just want a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back. Wood smoking. I don't know. Papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all over.